Stealth. Yes, stealth again. Yes, because stealth is the obsession of so many air forces, but it is also the obsession of so many enthusiasts. But the point of view is different. Yes, because the enthusiast wants to know if an aircraft is more stealthy than another. So today we are having a look at the Chinese J-20. Let's start. Yes, Otis, it is indeed a game. Rule number one, it is not possible to numerically assess how stealthy an aircraft is just by looking at it. You need to make proper simulations to have a quantitative measure. Rule number two. However, if we look only at specular reflection stealth, we can assess if that specific geometry is there or not. So no diffraction, no radar absorbing materials, no infrared. Rule number three. Well, it may seem that we are ignoring a lot, but geometry is the main contributor to stealth. And it is the only one that you can really see clearly from the pictures. Radar absorbing materials have evolved a lot since they are first aeronautical use, but they still are not the main contributor to stealth. Rule number four, since the United States are the country that has invested the most on stealth, today we are comparing the J-20 to the F-22 and the F-35. J-20 cockpit, F-22 cockpit, as you can see, the profile is similar. So the performance of the canopy should be similar, both for aerodynamic and stealth. Canopy stealth is important because radar radiation entering the canopy will bounce around inside the canopy and then it will be reflected outside, magnificated. So in absence of a canopy capable of reflecting the energy itself, the cockpit is quite a big reflector. Second element, this edge on the side of the aircraft, which is common to pretty much every style design. We will see better from a different point of view. The Radum interface with the aircraft is not perpendicular with the axis of the aircraft. This is a stealth feature. Radar antennas, since are good emitters, are also good reflectors. If the radum is inclined in this way, the radiation coming horizontally will be reflected away. This serration exists because the rim of the fuselage around the antenna is quite a powerful reflector. We may imagine that on the F-22 there is a different solution not based on serration but rather on radar absorbing material. From this frontal view we can see quite clearly the fuselage edge in both aircraft. This is a typical stealth feature. It has several functions but it also splits the fuselage side into two sections inclined in different ways. If radar radiation is coming horizontally, which is the case for most of the times, and in general it is the case for any far away emitter, then it is specularly reflected away from the direction where it is coming, because here we have the emitter, but in general, we also have the receiver. So the radar radiation is reflected away from the receiver. And the same is true for the J20 that has a similar configuration as we can see here. In literature, you find bistatic radars as a way of defeating stealth. A bistatic radar is a radar where the receiver is not co-located with the emitter. This is by no means cutting-edge technology. The first radars ever created were indeed bistatic radars. You can also see that the two aircraft are similar in the configuration of the canopy from the front. Two straight sides, portion of the canopy, straight, and then with a curved connection between the two. It is not a bubble like in other aircraft, for example, the F-16. This is working in the same way as the side of the fuselage, and the radiation that hits this curved path will be 
reflected away as well in a specular manner these two angles will be the same an extremely important feature as we can see on the f22 we have a very shallow angle like this and the same is true for the j20 even though the angle is not as shallow as the f22 the mechanism at work here is always the same the radiation is coming from the side and reflected away and the same as you can see may be true for the j20 if the side of the fuselage was vertical the reflection would have been directly toward the emitter so an important geometric stealth feature is not having vertical surfaces on the aircraft. Obvious consequence of this geometric arrangement is that if the aircraft is banking, maybe this side of the fuselage becomes vertical and then stealth is greatly reduced. So stealth aircraft tend to have their best performance in terms of reduction of radar return when they are flying straight. Also the J20 has canards and as we can see the angle that the canards are forming with the fuselage is quite shallow as well. Normally canards are not conducive to stealth because they introduce an extra interface between an horizontal surface, the fuselage, and since they are in front of the aircraft, which is the area where you want your aircraft to be more stealth, they are normally avoided. Here on the J20 we can see that some care has been put in minimizing problem of canard. From this picture we can also see the shape of the air intakes. J20 has DSI intakes while the F22 has conventional wedge intakes. At least I believe they are so I think there is a mobile ramp inside here. But for stealth purpose what is important is that the shape of these intakes is not rectangular but it is a lozenge. This is very important because straight angles have the property to reflect optically any energy directly toward the emitter. It's just elementary geometry. So so in you will never see a straight angle on a stealth aircraft. As we can see the J20 has a lozenge shape as well. This angle is cute, angle is acute, this angle here is shallow, this angle is acute. As we can see the air intakes are quite different because the J20 is using DSI intakes so it has a small bump here. It shows us that the aircraft have a different optimization. The F-22 is optimized for high supersonic speed, the J-24 transonic speed, even though this doesn't mean that the aircraft could reach Mach 2. However, this bump on the DSI intake is actually helping for stealth since short wavelength radar, for example, the X-band or Q-band radars that are used by other fighters or some surface to wire systems, cannot penetrate inside the intake and be reflected or better this bump is actually masking a little bit the inside of the intake contributing to stealth not massively but it is an extra contribution in this picture we can see even more clearly the intersection between the wing and the fuselage in both this region here is very clean in both the aircraft the j20 has this small bump in here there is another one on the f22 here but it's small stuff another feature that is actually visible from here is this flat area. A flat lower fuselage is another stealth feature because uh, with the same logic that we have described before it reflects radiation away. Now in this picture you can see uh, the aircraft while it is uh, rolling and so the side of the fuselage is vertical. In this case the reflection will be specular and toward the emitter. So if the aircraft is banking is less stealth. 
We can also see that the two aircraft have pretty much the same configuration, the same tunnel between the engines, which I believe it is a concession to aerodynamics. This should reduce drag at subsonic speed. At least it seems so. You can also notice the difference in the nozzle configuration. The F-22 has the well-known B-dimensional nozzles. J-20 has classical nozzles. We'll, we'll get back to this later. From this point of view, we are also seeing a, another typical uh, stealth feature, which is the inclined vertical empennage, which is true for both aircraft. As you can see, the F-22 has bigger vertical empennage than the J-20. And this is due to the fact that the J-20 also has these fins down here. So the total vertical surface is, is split in two on the F-22, but is split in four on the J-20. Again, the mechanism is always the same, radiation from this side reflected away. Now notice how the F-35 is different from the J-20. Here in this region that we said it is critical, uh, we have a very clean uh, interface, a very clean side. On the F-35 is exactly the opposite. We have this structure here, which is curved, actually, that, well, I don't know exactly what it is, will contain something. And also the rest of the fuselage is sort of rounded, here which is good for aerodynamic reason probably better than the flat surfaces on the j20 but is definitely less stealthy from a geometric point of view if you have a curved structure and some radiation impinging well you will have radi reflections away obviously perpendicular to the curved surface but you are guaranteed that here there will be a point where the reflection will be straight toward the emitter which is exactly what we don't want. This is the reason why we try to limit these kind of curved surfaces. Now the consideration behind this type of rounded shapes used on the F-35 is probably that the F-35 uses rather absorbing materials to a much larger extent as the J-20 or the F-22. The radar absorbing material is actually integral with structure so the these materials probably uh, reduce the amount of energy being reflected much more than on the J20 or the F22. So basically the designer can get away with a geometry that is not stealthy. However, this is conjecture. From this point of view, we can see another feature that is typical of stealth, which is platform alignment. On the F-22, we can see that this line is aligned with this line, this line is aligned with this line, and even the serrations and the air intakes are pretty much aligned in the same way. What is the logic? Pretty much the same as usual. All the aerodynamic surfaces and the serration corners will reflect the energy toward a single direction and they won't spread the energy back toward the source. So there will be one direction here where the aircraft is not stealth, but it will be just one direction. If there is no receiver here, well, the aircraft is not going to be spotted. On the J-20, we can see the same, this line here on the canard is pretty much aligned with the leading edge in here and this line on the canard is aligned with this trailing edge here and the same is true for the serrations as usual if we make the same comparison with the F-35, we can see the usual platform alignment on the F-35 too. What's not worthy though are these bumps on the lower side of the wing of the J-20 and these are absent from the F-35. These bumps obviously contain the hydraulic actuators of the aerodynamic surfaces here on the trailing edge of the wing. In the J-20, these are not hydraulic, these are electric, and it is a very interesting technology because they are small enough uh, to be entirely contained within the thickness of the wing, so there are no bumps. And these bumps, actually being rounded surfaces, do have some radar return. 
another interesting difference that you can see in this picture is the difference between the nozzles of the two aircraft. On the F-35 there is serration, there's nothing like that on the J-20. Also considering that this area here where we have the intersection of the vertical surfaces with the fuselage is relatively dirty, we can probably expect the J-20 to have a lower level of stealth from the rear aspect. Should be excellent from the side, it should be excellent from the front, but here from the rear there are probably some more reflections. So if you're interested to learn more about the J-20, there are several other videos on the channel where we discuss the aircraft and they're going to appear here beside me. Thank you very much to all those who are supporting the channel on Patreon or by being a member and from today there is a new way to support the channel. If you are into aircraft as much as I have, I want to draw your attention to Air Models, a company that produces models like this one that I'm showing you. This is an F 35B, a British model. I bought this because, well, it looks nice in the background. It can be a present, a nice decoration for everyone who is definitely into aeronautics. I invite you to visit the link in the description or in the pin comment it is an affiliate link so if you end up buying something from them i have a small percentage and there is no extra cost to you in the meanwhile thank you very 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 much for watching and see you next time